K-State's most impressive win of the season came the following week at number 15, Texas. The Longhorns were set on revenging last year's 42-7 loss to the Cats. But K-State's defense had other ideas. All-conference quarterback Major Applewhite was punished from start to finish as the Wildcats forced three interceptions and three Applewhite fumbles. K-State trailed 14-9 midway through the third quarter until David Allen made NCAA history with his seventh punt return for a touchdown. Good snap. Long gets it away. Hangs it up there. Allen's going to catch it at about the 25. Allen eludes the first Longhorn. Gets up field to the 30. Allen to the 40. Has some room to midfield. Allen to the 40. Allen down the sideline to the 30. Allen to the 20. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Oh, he did it again. Second straight week for David Allen. And for the second straight year, he brings one back against the University of Texas. And Kansas State leads 15 to 14. Well, actually, I was really surprised that they, you know, even kicked the ball to me. I mean, I didn't really, I don't know if they were trying to kick it out of bounds or what, but, you know, unfortunately, it came to me, and I just took the ball around the right side, and, you know, the guys did a great job of killing, making a wall for me, and you know, was, I was untouched all the way to the end, though. K-State then exploded for 17 points in a span of two minutes and 17 seconds, and the route was on. Split backs behind Apple White, wide receiver set left and right. This has been a terrific football game today here in Austin. Apple White back in the pocket. K-State coming after him, hits him as he throws, picked off. Mark Simino at the 30. Simino down the sidelines, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Kansas State gets a defensive touchdown on the INT from Mark Simino, and he races it in. It's his first career touchdown with an interception for Simino, and K-State leads by 7, 24-17. Yeah, you know, the coaching staff all week, uh, we wanted to put pressure on Apple White and, uh, and uh, make him put the ball in the air, and uh, we knew we had some great defensive backs, and... Uh, if we started putting pressure on that we could make some plays and uh, we came out the second half and I'm not even sure how many turnovers we have. We had a ton of turnovers and uh, you know and then the play I'll remember forever is the, the Mark Simino streaking down the sideline and, and scoring the touchdown. So you know those those plays will you know last forever. Basically it was just a, a pass play, drop back pass and uh, I think we had a blitz on and and I had the had the running back in coverage but uh, I kind of dropped off and I wanted to maybe give a little bit of help uh, to our corner and and he uh, through it just as he was getting hit, and, and it was right there. I, I took it and uh, got a good block from Monty Beisel and, and took it to the end zone. Apple White, long count, back in the pocket. Here come the Cats on the blitz. Apple White gets free. Simino hits him. The ball's loose. A pile up at the 36. Kansas State says they have the football. No signal yet. Yes, there is. Kansas State's got it. Darren Howard comes out of the bottom of the pile, and the Cats force another turnover. That's the fifth of the day on the Longhorns. Ball at the horn, 35. Staggered set. Allen on the eye back. They turn hand it off to David, trying to get to the outside. Allen cuts up field. Allen to the 30. Cuts back, 25-20. David, 15. Center steps, 10. David stumbling. Five-yard line dies. Touchdown! Kansas State, what a run! David Allen, 35-yard touchdown run, and Kansas State leads now 31-17 with 7.20 left in the game. K-State rolls over Big 12 South champion Texas for the second year in a row, 35-17. The win over the Longhorns propelled K-State back into the top 10 for the sixth consecutive season and set the stage for a visit from the Kansas Jayhawks. This game was played in front of the largest crowd to ever watch a sporting event in the state of Kansas. And the KSU Stadium crowd was treated to a 50-9 Kansas State triumph. The 
Wildcats scored touchdowns on six of their first seven possessions. As Jonathan Beasley and Quincy Morgan hooked up five times for 192 yards and two long touchdown passes. Back to throw is Jonathan. Has some time. Has some time. Now being rushed. Rolls out. Looks downfield. Lobs a pass downfield. Looking for Morgan. Makes a catch at midfield. Quincy off to the races. To the 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Kansas State. It's an 88-yard touchdown pass from Jonathan Beasley to Quincy Morgan. And for Quincy, it's his fourth touchdown of the year. You got to hand that play to the Kansas State offensive line. KU came out with an all-out blitz, a late safety blitz right up the middle. The quarterback, Jonathan Beasley, was flushed, and when he was flushed to his right, he just kept working and working and finally threw the ball downfield, and a KU defender, Quincy Rowe, tried to make the interception. That was the wrong choice, and it ended up being a long K-State touchdown. High formation by Beasley. Turns, play action, fake again. Jonathan looking downfield, rolls the pocket to the far side, guns it toward the end zone for Quincy Morgan. KU defender fell down, catch, touchdown. Kansas State, second time, Beasley has connected with Morgan. The Kansas defensive back fell down, and Morgan's got a 34-yard touchdown catch, his second of the day, and it's now 36-9 Wildcats. Morgan's 192 receiving yards were a K-State regular season record and fell just short of the all-time mark of 206 set by Darnell McDonald in the 1997 Fiesta Bowl. The win was K-State's seventh straight over the Jayhawks, with K-State outscoring KU 261-72 during that run. And, uh, and I want to just tell you that uh, we are proud of your ambassadors for our state. Uh, and uh, every time you go out, you make us proud. We appreciate immensely what Coach Snyder has done, what you've done to make uh, to put Kansas State on the map as a, as a great football program in this country. <coughs> and, uh, and I am proud, Coach, to be back for the fifth straight time uh, to present you all with uh, the Governor's Cup. We shall like to present this. You give that to our captain. Where you at, guys? Yeah. Right, right. All right, baby. Come on up here. Utah State came to town in week six and the defense took center stage as the Cats completed non-conference play with another shutout, a 40 to nothing victory over the Aggies. The Cats held the Aggies to just 13 yards in the first half and picked off three Aggie passes. Jose Fuentes is in now at quarterback for the Aggies with one back behind him, three wide receivers in the pattern of the near side. He was picked off in the first half, throws a pass. This one picked off, Milton Proctor, 30, 20, 15, 10, five. Touchdown, Kansas State. Milton Proctor jumped the route, picks off a pass, and takes it in for six points. His second career interception, Milton Proctor picked up the tight end who was moving from left to right, had him all the way across the field, and when his ball was thrown, all he had to do was jump up in front of the tight end, and he had open field in front of him to take it the rest of the way for a K-State touchdown and a K-State defense making a play again, takes it in. Milton Proctor scores a TD. The offense was powered by running back Joe Hall, who flourished in his first career start with a career-high 195 yards and two touchdowns. High formation behind Beasley. Runs the pitch to the left side of Joe Hall. Gets a block on the corner to the 10. Flag flies. Hall goes in. Touchdown. But hang on. There is a penalty. The indication. On a Offside. defense. Penalties declined. Touchdown. High formation behind Beasley, runs the option play, makes the pitch to Joe Hall, gets a block on the corner, Hall up to the 20, 25, Joe Hall cuts back, 30, 35, Hall to the 40, 45 yard line, Hall to midfield to the Utah State 45 and finally pulled down at the 40 yard, at the 40 yard line of Utah State. The tackle was made by Elijah Bell of the Aggies. Pitch out of the eye formation to Joe Hall, third and two steps inside, five, touchdown, Joe Hall gets a nice block on a corner from John Lazatic, his second touchdown of the day, and Kansas State now leads 32 to nothing. Joe Hall shows great patience on the option to the left side. He stretches it clear to the sideline, and there's still defenders who are out on the sideline, so he waits for his K-State blockers to push them outside. Then he cuts back up inside and takes it in untouched. K-State improves to 6-0 on the season, with a 40 to nothing victory over Utah State.